Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya back at it again with yet another curly hair washing routine. You guys seem to really like these videos and I like to do updated ones every so often. It's really cool to see how Zaya's hair has grown and changed over the years. For this video, we are, mm, 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 we had a lot of work to do because if you guys did not see um, one of my recent vlogs, we live in Texas and we experienced a crazy winter storm, which left us without electricity and without running water for an entire week. And it was already time to wash Zaya's hair when all of that started. So that added on an additional week of not being able to do anything with her hair. And this was the result of all of that. Her hair was full of lint. It was really matted, dry, just obviously not looking very good. So once we got our water turned back on, it was time to really, you know, get in there and wash it thoroughly and condition it. So the first thing that I obviously had to do was take down her hair. And that took a while because like I said, it was just so dry and so matted. And I try to be as gentle as possible with this process. Zaya is only four years old and she doesn't love getting her hair done. So I always try to just take my time, be as gentle as possible. One thing that I definitely did throughout this part of the process is take any of the super small knots that are basically just a knot hanging off of maybe one or two strands of hair and go ahead and just cut those out. Any knots that I know are just going to end up being ripped out by the comb, I would rather just cut them out to save Zaya the pain because certain knots are not gonna be able to be combed out and actually detangled. They're literally just gonna get caught on the comb or the brush and literally rip out of her scalp. I know that from me being a little girl with curly hair and getting my hair done and having curly hair all my life, sometimes it's better to just cut certain tangles out if you know they cannot be saved. If you watch our curly hair routines regularly, you know something that I always say is to finger comb and separate out the hair as much as possible as you go. So on the dry hair, I'm finger combing, I'm separating out, I'm trying to get most of the major matting and clumping out first before wetting the hair because in my experience if you leave the hair kind of all clumped up together and then you get it wet the water just makes it clump together even more and then it's just harder to detangle and then I'm even taking that a step further and I'm actually going to be applying some conditioner to her dry hair to further finger comb and detangle before even wetting the hair so I'm using the new Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Dream Detangler Jelly to cream conditioner. This actually worked so well because it is kind of that slick gel consistency. It gave a lot of slip to the hair, even with using it on dry hair, which it's not made to necessarily be used on dry hair, but this is just like a little hack that I like to personally do when Zaya's hair is really tangled up. But yeah, this is a detangling conditioner. So like I said, even on dry hair, it worked really well to just kind of get that detangling process pre-started before even wetting her hair down. Down. So I got her hair nice and separated and somewhat combed through and then she was able to step into the shower and get her hair wet. So we got her hair fully saturated with water, but didn't fully rinse out all the conditioner, if that makes sense, because then I went in with a wide tooth comb with some of the conditioner still on there and combed through her hair a little bit. I just like to do a lot of pre-detangling. I don't like to start putting shampoo or anything on the hair when it's still so tangled because like I said, it just seems to make it worse. So I like to just detangle as I go. So I wanted to kind of do some overall detangling with a wide tooth comb before going in with the shampoo. So then after that, I was able to go in and actually shampoo her hair. I'm using the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Water to Foam Shampoo. This is a really good shampoo to really get into the scalp. So I'm actually going to be double cleansing. I applied this shampoo 
worked it in really well to her scalp, rinsed that out, and then I'm going in with another shampoo, which is this Weedad Scalp and Hair Rinse. So this is a product more specifically to really get your scalp super clean. I just wanted to double cleanse Zaya's hair just because like I said, we had gone a whole week without running water. Her hair just seemed like extra dirty, honestly. So I just wanted to make sure I got it super clean. I definitely don't do this all the time because it would just be way too drying on her hair, but just for this special occasion. So we worked that through her hair, focusing in on her scalp and then rinsed that out really well. And now we're able to actually fully condition her hair. So I'm going in with that same conditioner from before, the Carol's Daughter Detangling Conditioner and applying a good amount all over her hair. I went ahead and let this conditioner sit on her hair for a good five minutes or so. And then I was able to go in with the wet brush to really start to fully, fully detangle and smooth out her hair. I love these wet brushes. They work so well on Zaya's specific hair texture and I feel like they work on a lot of hair textures as well. Just starting at the ends of the hair and slowly working your way up, I just find that these are like the best brushes to use for wet detangling. And because I did all of that pre-detangling earlier on, this part does not take long at all. It's actually a pretty quick process to get to a point with this brush where I'm able to fully brush all the way through Zaya's hair with no tangles. And I like the way that this brush defines Zaya's curls and just makes everything like super smooth. So then from there, she's able to rinse out the conditioner and we are done with the shower and ready to move on to styling. This is how much hair Zaya lost in the process, in case you were wondering, which I feel like is a pretty normal amount considering the circumstances. Uh, this is what Zaya's hair looked like after getting out of the shower. And this is what it looked like like after I just styled it into two simple braids. Hope you guys enjoyed this curly hair routine video and learned some tips and tricks maybe. Let me know what kind of hairstyle you would like to see on Zaya next time and we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye.